Here's my proof of concept for a hot water circulating pump control system. I'm going to install a uh, pump to circulate the hot water from the hot water heater to where it's needed, in this case the shower, which is a considerable distance away. And around here, uh, using a lot of water can get expensive and catch up with you, especially if it's a everyday occurrence and you know you go through a few gallons just getting the water up to the shower so I'm going to install this pump and to control it I'm going to use this system that's wireless that I've put together so that we don't have to install any wiring and it's basically consisting of two parts I ended up getting both of these off of eBay um, I think Banggood may have some of it as well but I found what I was looking for on eBay at a reasonable price. The remote and the RF receiver was about eight bucks and the timer board was like three dollars so very reasonable. I bought several so that in case one goes out I can replace it and get it going again. But basically what we have is an RF transmitter that transmits a digital code and this little daughter card on here is actually the RF receiver and this black wire is the antenna for that. You can see the little crystal on it. And this board can be programmed to either operate momentary, so push the button and it's on as long as you hold the button down, or it can toggle like a switch. And you got a relay here, AC, that I believe can drive up to 10 amps on the contacts and those would come out here. You've got uh, common, normally open, normally closed. So pretty simple little module. And I went out of that, I'm bringing in uh, 12 volts through a current limiting resistor into the timer board. And this is kind of nice because it's an octo-isolated input. So the ground here can be independent of the power supply ground, um, which is handy. And you can program this using these buttons to count down well, what it does is once it receives a trigger it'll start counting down from whatever arbitrary number of minutes or seconds you set it for and it can be 0 to 999 in this case and it'll count down here on the LED display and then that will drive this relay over here which is again is another um, I believe it's a 10 amp 120 volt relay that will then drive the pump. Um, this board, well the receiver board requires 12 volts to operate. The timer board requires, I believe it will run from 6 to 20 and it does that by way of this uh, LM317 voltage regulator here, but I found that even driving it with 12 volts that regulator gets really hot when the relay contacts are closed and I don't know if it would last all that long. So um, it has a micro USB port, and I'm not sure if that was meant as an input or an output, but it seems to work fine and runs cool with a cell phone charger on it. It really only needs 5 volts. So I'll give a demonstration here. We transmit, and you can see the seconds counting down. I've set it for 5 minutes just as part of my test here, and that's probably what it will take for the pump to circulate the water through the system to the bathroom. So that's my proof of concept and we'll get the pump ordered up and get everything installed and see how it works maybe in a future video. Thanks for watching.